All right, y'all, we're back with another turkey pattern test that I'm out here doing today. And once again, we're still dealing with the shadows, so I apologize. But we got the Remington 1187 Premier out here again with Pinty. See if I can get it in the light. There you go. It's got a little Pinty red dot on top. I've had no issues with, as I've said before, these Pinties seem to do well on actual rifles or shotguns or anything like that as far as holding zero so with that being said the choke we're going to be shooting today is the colonial let me see if i can get that without the shadows it's a colonial rctk2 which is their extra full turkey choke for the 12 gauge their site says that it's a 675 constriction and I measured it and it does come out to be a true 675 constriction. So it's a little bit more open than some of the more common, typical like 660, 665 range of 12 gauge turkey chokes, but will it hold up and pattern good? As far as the loads we're gonna be shooting, it's gonna be, there's the, there's the light. It's gonna be the typical Longbeard XR three inch number fives this is the ounce and three quarter load and as per usual i've got the bench set up over there and i've got a target set up right over here it's going to be 40 yards so let's go put it to the test and see what it can actually do all right so we're back at the bench we're at 40 yards with the colonial i should say mention real quick it is i think they're now uh known as colonial choke and tool company they were colonial arms at one point in time and it is much more of a budget choke. I think it's about 35 ish dollars or so. So we definitely got a budget load and a budget choke here. So let's shoot them at 40 and see what they can do with the long beard number fives. All right, so walking up and looking at it here, it's not that bad. It's definitely not as tight as the kicks. If you haven't seen the kicks video, I'll leave a card up above for that. But there's not really a whole ton of flyers. You do have a couple, but nothing major. The core of the pattern is definitely a little bit to the left, but I'm not zeroed for this choke or load. But it's not a super hot core. But it's a pretty even core. I mean, you do have a couple of smaller voids, but nothing that a turkey's going to walk through. And I definitely think this gives you a little bit more leeway than the kicks did. Once again, go check out that video if you haven't seen it already. But that's not bad, especially for a budget load out of a definitely a budget choke. I definitely would not be scared to hunt with that pattern. That's for sure. All right, well, is that a choke and a load that you would use? I mean, I would definitely not be scared to take that into the field. I mean, it's a lead turkey load out of a budget choke. So, I mean, you can't ask for a whole lot better than that, in my opinion anyway. But what do y'all think? I'm still gonna run my kicks with my Longbeard Sixes, personally, but I mean, there's nothing wrong there at all, especially for somebody that shoots birds in a lot closer. That'll give you the leeway that you would like inside 30, 20 yards or so. I mean, that'll definitely be a little bit more open than the, the kicks with the sixes. But anyway, I'm kind of happy with that result. I mean, it's nothing super stellar, but it's just a solid lead budget load out of a budget choke. You can't ask for a whole lot better than that. What do you all think? Would that be something that you use? Do you like that pattern? Do you prefer tighter? Comment down below. Let me know what you all think about it. I don't have any issues with it. Well, with that being said, I've got a bunch more patterns on the list that I would need to do out here today for the last couple hours in the afternoon. So stick around if you want to see a whole bunch more turkey patterns because they are coming. So I guess I'll see you all in the next one then.